been filming reels on my phone. And I was curious, will it be much of a difference if I start filming on my camera? So I put that to the test by going to an event and filming footage with both. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. We arrived here on location. You can hear the music is pumping and the event is ready to go. So before I get started, I wanted to show you the two cameras I'm going to compare. So first off, I have my iPhone. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max and for it I'm using my Gobi Gorilla Stand. I love this thing because you can either put it all together and handheld it, handhold it so it's nice and smooth or you can just separate it and put it down somewhere if you want to get a shot that way. Plus I have a Manfrotto head on here so this just like snaps in and I'm ready to film with my phone. And now let's check out the camera. So for my camera setup, I have here my Sony Ace. And for my camera, I have my Sony A7 IV, the newest one. I love this thing. It has some great internal stabilization. So I'm going to try some handhold shots too. And I'm going to use my tripod. So I have my tripod here so I can get some shots. And then I can easily convert this so you can see it films vertical as well. And then for my lenses, I have my 35 and my 85. So there you have it, now you know my setup, so it's time to go film. I have the videos ready and I think that the best way to compare the two footages is to eliminate the differences when I post the reel. So I'm going to use a template. With the template, it's going to have the same music, the same cuts. All I have to do is add video clips. So I found this template and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to press use template. Now you see these boxes here at the on the bottom. Um, you can just click on the boxes and then you're going to select the footage that you want to add. So I'm going to go into, let's start with the phone. So here are all my phone clips and now I can just add them to the bottom. So I got to select clips. So let's see, here's one walking in, talking, music. I have, how many clips do I have left? I have one clip left. Oh, let's not do that one then. Let's do that and that. There we go. So we've got all our clips and now I just press next and it's going to create the reel for me. So this is the footage from the phone. You can see it's not really saturated. Not many clips have. This one's got a little bit of a blue tinge to it and they're pretty washed out. But this is a cool look if that's what you like. And I think the only way I can actually test this out is to um, post it. Okay, so that one is posted and now I'm going to use the same template and create another one with the camera footage. So let's click on that and let's go to my camera footage album. You can see this is already a lot more uh, saturated. Um, the focus is a lot better on it. Try to use similar clips. So like when you select them, you're going to see numbers start to pop up. This is the order that they're going to play. I'm just going to unselect it. So you can see if you unselect it, then it just changes the order. So in the first one, I had walking in as my first shot. So I'm going to do this walking in. I had the DJ, had the panel, and then I had this. So I used pretty similar clips. I already love these more because they're a lot more crisp and a lot more saturated. Okay, so I didn't do anything different. I tagged this just one account on both of them because I didn't want to give one the advantage over the other. And so I have both of the videos right here. Oh my goodness. Just seeing the phone and then seeing the camera, you can instantly see the difference. Like, wow. The footage on the camera looks so much better. This looks a little washed out and gray and like 
doesn't match as well but then if you look at this look how vibrant and fun this looks this looks great oh wow oh, it looks like I'm going to have to take out my camera a lot more often because there is a huge difference so if you want to increase the quality of your reels I say do the extra work and use your professional camera. Posted both of the reels on Instagram and oh my God, everyone is loving the camera one. They're saying both are good because there's amazing people there and it's great footage, but the camera one is standing out. So it's not just me. The camera definitely wins. This means I'm gonna be stuck bringing my camera along more often, but I know it's gonna be well worth it. I'd love to hear which one do you prefer? Do you think that the phone is great? Is that all you need? Or would you use the professional camera? Is there a difference? Do you notice it? Please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace!